feed on his energy he brings on the board. He's always that guy who scores the ball and gets a rebound and sprints right there. Yeah. Does the team feed off that? Oh yeah, definitely. That's I mean that's kinda how that's Mitch's personality. He brings a lot of energy to the floor and he's a great teammate. You've known him for a while, and didn't you play with uh, you played AAU ball with him? Has he always been like that, even yeah. since, since you guys were younger? You know what? I uh, ever since high school, he's been like that. You know, I played with him since fourth grade. We were playing AAU, but um, high school, you know, he started getting a little bit crazy out there. But I mean, everyone feeds off, and he plays well and he's, he's energetic. When you stole that ball on the floor again, you did a little, little reverse. Yeah. And then, is that something that? That the guys see in practice, and that maybe we just haven't seen this year, just from just not being on the court sometimes. Um, but I haven't really done it a whole lot because at this level, I mean, the guys around the other team—they're just so smart. Usually, that doesn't happen. But um, you know, fortunately, I was able to catch him off. He's a little lax today. Is that just instincts? Yeah, definitely. I mean, a lot, a lot of guys make a lot of plays off just instincts. You gotta be a player out there. Spike. Uh, no, no, I grew out of that finally. How good were you in baseball? Um. I was pretty good. My dad always tells me that I was uh, that I'm a better baseball player than basketball player. So you give up baseball. I gave up baseball. I started my freshman year in high school because I uh, I wouldn't focus on basketball. And I'm gonna start going to AAU. Too. What'd you play? Shortstop and second base. Yeah. Did you do? Um, I hit a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't hit for power, but. Basics. Alright, no problem. Spike, uh, has it been tough among all the hoopla uh, surrounding getting the Final Four to focus on sort of the game you guys still have to play? Um, not really. It's actually, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. The fans, um, we've had a ton of support. People coming up to you, you know, congratulating you, saying that they're going to Atlanta. But um, I wouldn't say it's been a distraction, you know, because, I mean, it's all fun, but we still know what we gotta do. For sure. And do you think that it's been sort of, uh, sort of difficult or, um, <laughs> <laughs> do you uh you guys have had a lot of attention focused on you um throughout the year is it does that make it a little easier to deal with the attention that you're getting now yeah definitely i mean that's the thing we came in you know with a lot of preseason hype and then we were ranked number one we had a lot of hype so it's actually nice that we you know we fell off there a little bit we were able to get you know, clear the air a little bit you know get the media office for a little bit your increased role in, in, you know, increased playing time has sort of come coincided with the biggest games of the season in the tournament. Um, yeah, how has that experience been to sort of be playing a lot more on the biggest yeah. stage in college basketball? Um, it's been great. You know, it's been a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun playing out there, and I think uh, a lot of it comes. I mean, tournament tournament time comes around. I mean, you know, you're playing games every other day or back to back. It's, I mean, Trey's incredible, but it's hard. You know, he's got to get a break here and there. Whereas in the regular season. You know, you'd have three days, five days, so I think that's maybe reason why I've been playing a little more. Gotcha. Thanks a lot.